What is up my people, my name is Stifflerd and welcome back to the cafe where we talk about tools, tips, and tricks to take your Minecraft creations to the next level. Today we are talking about a premium spigot plugin called Insane Shops developed by a friend of mine named Texcode. This is a really cool plugin that allows you and your players on a multiplayer server to create shops with chests that other players can then buy products from. I am making this video for two purposes. One is to tell my players on my own multiplayer server how to use the plugin and how to set up their own shop and two, to give a little review for you guys and a little tutorial on how to use insane shops for your own servers. That means that there are two sections of this video and both of them have timestamps down in the description below. The first timestamp is for players knowing how to use the plugin themselves to create or close or manage their own shops. And the second timestamp is for server owners and administrators to be able to set up the plugin. That section's actually gonna be pretty short because this plugin is incredibly easy to set up and use. But let's go ahead and dive right into this plugin and show off some of the features for players so that you can know how to set up your own shops or use shops on server. The Insane Shops plugin will hook into a vault based economy. If you have that installed on your server, your players will be able to use their vault balance to be able to purchase products. Now I've got a little Little market set up over here so we have a cake here for $25 we have pumpkin pie for $20 and bread for $7 and as you can see down there at the bottom of the screen, it says right click to open this shop. So any player that wants to purchase something, all that you have to do is right click on the shop and you're going to see a few different options here. You can see obviously the item that you're going to be purchasing, but you can also increase the quantity by one at a time, or you can right click and increase it by 10 at a time. So now I've got 16, now I've got 26, now I have 36. And you you can also see the price again this is based on a vault economy so this is going to be $540 over on the left side we can reduce the quantity we can left click to remove one 35 34 33 baby yeah and then we can right click to remove 10 23 13 3 uh, but you can't go into the negative, it stops at one. Once you have decided how many of these items that you want to buy, whatever it might be, you just click on purchase. And again, it tells you right there in the tooltip the amount and the price that you are going to pay for that item. Let's go ahead, click it. Boom, baby, successfully bought one puffer fish for $15. Look at me. I got my puffer fish. Yeah, girl. What's up with you? Now, these are all admin shops going around my little market here. And again, I'm going to show admins and server owners how to set up these admin shops a little bit later on in the video. But if you are a player, you can not only buy from these admin shops, but you can buy from player shops as well. And you can set up your own player shops if you would like. We're gonna do that real quick. We got ourselves a chest and we got ourselves a puffer fish. I don't wanna sell a puffer fish. Let's say I've got a whole bunch of diamonds, baby. And in fact, I'm gonna take 30 diamonds here and a chest. We'll place down the chest and nothing happens. Now with a lot of these simple shop plugins, what you would need to do to set up your shop is to run a command and like remember what the commands are and the order of the format and syntax and everything. But with insane shops, you don't have to do that. There's no commands that you need to know as a player. It's just too good. And what am I talking about? All right, I got my 30 diamonds right here and I've got a chest in front of me. All that I need to do in order to set up a shop to sell these diamonds is to walk up to a chest, hold the diamonds in my hand and you can see there at the bottom it says shift plus left click to create a new shop. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to hold shift to crouch and then I'm going to left click and instantly 
a new interface appears. This GUI now shows my 30 diamonds and it gives me an option to increase or decrease the quantity that I want to put in this shop's inventory. So I can have 30, but if I want to reduce it to 29, I can do that. So then I would be able to put, say, I just want 20 diamonds for sale and I want to keep the other 10 in my own personal inventory. I can do that. I can reduce the quantity here and I can increase the quantity here. We're going to go ahead and put it at 25 and we are going to click the green next button. Now, once we do that, we see another new view and this is the price that you want to set for selling your item in this shop. It's set by default to 10, but we can switch that. We can change it. Uh, we can decrease it by one. We can increase it by one or, and here's the trick, while you are hovering over increase or decrease, you can press the drop key which by default is going to be Q. When you press that, it switches it. You can see it switches from 1, 10, 100, 1,000, or $10,000 at a time. All right, so I've got my price set to 9,000. Let's go and click confirm. All right, baby. Notice that I now only have five diamonds remaining in my inventory. That's because the other 25 are inside this chest. You can see their diamond price, 9,000, available 25. Now, if any other player comes up to my shop and they right click on it, they will see these options. They can increase or decrease the quantity that they want to purchase. They can see the price of how much it's gonna cost them to purchase the item and they can click on that purchase button. But if the shop is your own, you have some other options here to manage the stock or the values within that shop. So we can see stocked items, quantity 25. And it even says there at the bottom, total revenue if sold $225,000. Let's get that money, baby. Yeah. We can actually click on this stocked items icon and we can see all of the diamonds that I have placed inside of here. Now, important thing to know is that you can remove or you can put back in items as much as you might like, but you cannot put different items in that inventory. I'm clicking here. It just goes away. It doesn't actually allow me to place that chest inside of the shop and its stock. It has to all be the same type of item that you are selling. We click on back and well, let's look at a couple more options here. We can see price. We can click on that to adjust the price. You can see there it currently is set to 9,000, but we can use the same method we did earlier by increasing or decreasing the sale price of that item. We can also view the transactions. Currently, there are no transactions on this this shop but if there were I would be able to see what those transactions are who completed the transaction and also how much money I made off of it this icon right here is to search so I could search a player username to see how much they might have bought in the past here we can see closed shop which we're gonna come back to in just a moment but it says please withdraw all stocked items first we'll come back to that in a moment and here we see convert to admin shop most players are not going to see this option. The only people who will see that option are those who are operators, server owners, or staff members who have the appropriate permission. We will get into the permissions of the plugin in the next section of this video. But yeah, if you're a normal player, you will not see this button here at all. Let's go back to closing the shop. If we want to close the shop, it says, please withdraw all stocked items first. So we're going to click on stocked items. We're going to grab all of our diamonds out of there. So it's out of stock. We'll we click on back and if I close it, we can even see it says price 9,000 but available zero. So any player that comes over to try and buy something from this shop will not be able to do so. Now that we have cleared out the inventory for this shop, we can close the shop. Let's click on close shop and it breaks and it's gone, baby. And it's just a normal chest and we can go through the entire process all over again. That pretty much wraps up the entire 
entirety of the player side of things with this plugin. There's no commands to remember. You just have to shift left click to open a shop. You right click to purchase items from a shop. You use the GUI to be able to see what the prices are or to change the amount that you want to purchase or sell or manage the blah, blah, blah. You get it, okay? It's real simple. Hopefully that little summary there helps your players out quite a bit. But now we're gonna jump into the other side of things. And with this plugin, I need to share with you administrators and server staff how to use this plugin on your server. We have a couple of new things that we can do. One, we can go ahead and open a shop just like we did before. We can set the, the product or the items that are going to be sold and we can click on next and then we can set the price. Let's go ahead and just set it to a hundred and we'll just set it to 104. And now when we walk up to the chest, we can see the price is $104 and there are 30 diamonds available. But here's the thing, if you have an admin shop, you want the products to be infinite in all likelihood. So we can actually set it to an admin shop so that no individual player, no server staff or anybody is going to be getting money directly from sales to this shop, but that it goes to the server. So let's go ahead and right click on it. And again, we're gonna go back to that button convert to admin shop we'll click on that and that's it it's as simple as that the admin shop is now set and we can see the price is 104 but the available stock is infinite it has that nice little infinity symbol there so players will be able to purchase as many of these items as they want from this chest shop and the stock will never run out now, one nice thing with the admin shops is actually that it allows admins and staff, even if they have the permission to manage the shops, to still buy things. So if I leave this chest shop and walk back up to it and I right click it, I can actually purchase diamonds just as if I am a normal player. So then how can I manage this shop if when I right click it, it doesn't give me the options to actually manage it. You just hold down shift or crouch and you right click it. That's it. We're gonna go up, hold shift, right click, boom. There's all of our management options here. So we can change the price, we can see the transactions, or we can close the shop. Notice that there's no inventory management because there is infinite inventory. You don't need inventory management when the chest size is infinite. So we're just gonna click on close shop and boom, that chest is gone. Bada boom, bada bang. Everything is beautiful in the world. Now there are still a couple things left to show admins and server owners about this plugin. One thing is that for server owners, there is a single command that you have available to you. While everybody else on the server is just gonna be holding shift and left or right clicking on the chest, you have a command. That command is very simple. You're gonna do slash shops and enter. And when you press that, you're going to see a whole new view. This view shows you every single shop that is currently on the server. This can be admin shops or it can be player shops. It also gives you a little bit of information about these shops. So you can see what the item is, of course, but also what the price is. And you can also right click on one of those shops to view the settings for that shop or look at the transactions. There are also four permissions that you're going to want to know about as a server owner that you can give to different players based on the accessibility that you want them to have to this plugin's features. Insane Shops is a great plugin built by a great developer who has other great plugins out there and I am enjoying having this on my servers and messing around with it quite a bit. Hopefully my video today helped explain to you exactly what is possible with this plugin. If you have any questions, by all means, leave a comment down below so that I can get you an answer. You are also welcome to join my Snapshot MC Discord server, link in the description, where you will find myself and other server owners and plugin developers, including Texcode, the creator of Insane Shops, all in that group available to chat and answer your questions and help you get up and running with your own Minecraft servers. That is all that I've got for you today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to helping you all again in a future tutorial. I'll see you all around. Peace.